By the time Catherine Switzer, a transfer from a small school in Virginia, arrived on the Syracuse campus in pursuit of a journalism degree in 1966, SU, like the majority of America's institutions of higher learning, had no fully developed women's intercollegiate athletic program. So Switzer, who'd been a runner since the age of 12, asked if she could work out unofficially, of course, because in keeping with the times, women had been deemed fairly incapable of such physical activity with the Syracuse men's cross-country team. And so began what might be SU's most spectacular athletic legacy, because Catherine started an international running movement that has created this phenomenon here in the United States. There are now more American women competing in road races than American men. It was the 20-year-old Switzer competing as K.V. Switzer who became in 1967 the first registered woman to compete and finish the famed Boston Marathon. And oh, the hoo-ha! They tried literally to pull Catherine, a Syracuse University student, but through no fault of her own, not a Syracuse University athlete, out of the race mid-race that had long been the domain of men. Some deemed her effort a publicity stunt. Others dismissed Switzer as a kook. Shameful it was, because all Catherine Switzer was was an athlete, a woman who yearned to compete, a woman who believed not at all in boundaries because of gender, a woman whose motto would become, life is for participating, not for spectating. And so a door was broken down. Women began to challenge themselves and society's norms. Title IX became law, and so much of that could be traced to Catherine Switzer, the SU student and should have been SU athlete, who'd become a world famous author, speaker, activist, icon, creator of 400 women's races in 27 countries, and yes, celebrated marathoner. In the spring of 2017, the Boston Marathon would celebrate the 50th anniversary of K.V. Switzer's historic run in 1967. And yes, at the age of 70, Catherine, wearing her original, now 50-year-old bib number 261, was to be part of that field, half of which would be comprised of women.